everybody. Welcome to another review by Transformers Reviews. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Universe Devastator from 2004. And one of the first things that I do want to mention is that the unifying color scheme uh, really makes this version of Devastator uh, really more complete and uh, as opposed to his previous incarnation as Landfill. And uh, one of the things I do want to mention is uh, in the long haul review that we did um, I mentioned that this claw was kind of ridiculous. Well, it's still a little oversized for landfill, or I'm sorry, Devastator, but um, it doesn't look as kind of silly, and I actually think it it, it works, honestly. Uh, it kind of personally reminds me of uh, G1 Scorpinox claw. But if we look at the rifle here, that was that's uh, Hightower's rifle, it's obviously more in scale and proportion with Devastator. And uh, it just, you know, I, obviously I think that was probably a design choice by Hasbro, which is actually a pretty wise one. So, um, one thing that this mold is notorious for is that um, while Bone Crusher will obviously always remain as the torso, it's Scavenger, High Tower, and Heavy Load, I'm sorry, Long Haul, that uh, they have the ability to interchange as either the arms or the legs. And uh, it's actually in this configuration that they look the best because while uh, if you have either high tower or long haul as the arms, it does add more bulk for the arms, but his legs look misshapen and because uh, Scavenger is a different height, I guess you could say, in vehicle mode from the other, whichever one you use as the other leg, um, it's hard to make him stand up straight. So um, with this one, even though um, really the the truck bed, the cannon, and scavenger's backhoe part um, are interchangeable. This is probably, uh, in my opinion, the best configuration for them. So in final thoughts, um, as far as recommendations would go, I would definitely recommend this version of Devastator. And on a scale from 1 to 10, Devastator actually ranks at a very solid 8. Uh, because of mechanics and uh, the other reasons that I mentioned. So anyway, um, this has been the review for Transformers Universe Devastator.